Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jen, also known as Blessed Yoga. And today we're doing our final Composure Flow Friday of the year. But as you may have seen, we didn't release this on a Friday because Friday is of course Christmas. So I brought it forwards a few days so I could still bring you the final Composure Flow of the year, of course, in partnership with MP. So today, especially if you're from the UK, it might feel like the hope levels are a little bit low and that's okay, I feel the same too. So we're gonna jump on the mat, have a bit of fun, try and kind of shake away the stress or any kind of negative feelings we're holding inside of us, which I know I'm in need of as well. And when you're ready, we'll get started. So we're gonna start out today sitting onto our mat. Find any comfortable seated position you like, a cross leg, maybe a cross leg with a pillow or a couple of blocks underneath you, totally up to you. We'll take our hands onto our knees and when you're ready, just start to shut off the eyes. Taking a moment to arrive onto your mat, into your practice. Trying to let any thoughts of the day already just fade away as you start to bring yourself into this very present moment. Starting to notice the sitting bones rooting down on the floor beneath you. Imagining as if you've literally got roots growing down into the earth. And as you root and ground down, see if you can rise up nice and tall through the rest of the body. Thinking about the spine getting a little bit longer. So maybe you grow a couple of inches, maybe just a couple of millimeters. That's fine too. Trying to release shoulders away from ears. And just releasing and relaxing into the moment. Starting to observe the breath without forcing any change. Just noticing that really natural inhale and exhale, feeling how the chest and maybe the belly rises as you breathe in and as you blow air out, seeing how everything just gently falls, sinks back down. And then seeing if you can start to deepen the breath, slowly starting to exaggerate those movements a little bit more, really bringing air right down into your belly space as you inhale. And feeling that sinking sensation as you exhale. Nice deep breath in. Big breath out. Just feeling any tensions, be it physical or men mental, start to fade away with every breath out. And then before we start moving today, I'd love you to think of something, one thing that you feel really grateful for today. And seeing if you can not just Think it mentally, but really feel it in your heart. Place it there. 
feel what it feels like to feel grateful for that thing. I think especially when times get tougher or situations happen that are completely out of your control, we can often lose sight of what we've actually got right in front of us rather than what we haven't got. So just trying to come back to that feeling of what amazing thing, whether it's a roof over your head, family that are healthy and happy, just bringing that thing into your heart space, not forgetting what it is that you do have rather than what you don't have. And then when you're ready, we'll gently blink open the eyes, find a soft gaze ahead of you, keeping hands onto the knees. We're going to start to pull onto them, bringing our chest forwards and squeezing our shoulders back behind us. As you exhale, taking your chin to your chest, nice big arch through the spine. Inhale, chest forward, shoulder back. So it's like almost like a seated cat and cow. As you exhale, chin to chest, arching. Good. One more inhale, chest forward, shoulders back. Really trying to squeeze shoulder blades together behind your back. And as you exhale, chin to chest, rounding, pulling knees towards the floor. Don't let your hands pull your knees away. And then as you inhale, coming to a neutral spine, we're going to uncross and recross the legs the other way. As you breathe in, reaching arms up overhead. And then on the exhale, twisting towards your right. So left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind you. I'll turn around so you can see what I'm doing behind me. Trying to stay light on those back fingers. And see if you can twist millimeters further round. As you breathe in, we're going to lift just our right arm all the way up and over to the opposite knee. Starting to take your chin towards your chest, we're going to arch through our back, keeping our hands really firmly rooted onto our knees. So you should feel the shoulders, the back of the shoulders start to expand the more you can pull your knees to the floor, the more you're going to feel that stretch. Really nice, juicy stretch, sometimes also into the front of the shoulder or the neck, just depends where you're carrying your tension. And then as we inhale, starting to lift the chest back up, keeping arms crossed over, we're going to lift hands away from knees, taking the backs of the hands together to touch, or if you can, you're going to slot palms together. So we've got eagle arms in front of us. If this is not possible for you, you can always grab opposite shoulders. So you've just got like a V shape with the elbows and the arms in front of you. Two options. And then as you inhale, start to lift your arms up towards the sky, pulling elbows away from you. If you want to, you can take a slight arch through the spine. As you exhale, elbows coming in towards your belly, chin to chest. Two more like that. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, rounding, chin to chest, elbows into belly. One more. Inhale, lift up. Look up, pull your elbows away from you. You should feel your shoulders start to expand, stretch out. And as you exhale, elbows into belly. Nice. Inhaling, releasing the arms, reaching up overhead. And as you breathe out to the other side, right hand to left knee, left fingertips behind you. Taking a deep breath in. As you breathe out, twisting a little further round. By the way, if you didn't notice already, I am in my Christmas outfit, my white and red. I forgot to mention it before. <laughs> deep breath in. Twisting round further. One more breath. As we inhale, left arm reaches up and over, crossing arms in front of us. So we've got this X shape. 
and then starting to round chin to chest. The more you hook your hand, I was going to say elbows, the more you hook your hands over your knees, the more stretch you're going to feel through the shoulders, pulling your knees towards the floor. And it's one of those ones that you can kind of feel into. You guide your body into a position that feels good for you. One more breath. And then as we inhale, lifting the chest back up, lifting our hands, backs of the hands together to touch or palms together if you can. And then trying to see if you can lift elbows up, pulling them away from you, slight back bend. And then as you exhale, elbows into belly, rounding through the spine. Inhale, reach up, flowing with your own breath. Exhale, elbows into belly. One more, inhale, lift it up, reach up. And as you exhale, elbows in, squeeze in. Nice. And then as you breathe in, we're going to reach up overhead. And as you exhale, rolling over onto hands and knees into your tabletop position. You might have to crawl back like me, I'm completely off my mat now. Good. From here, we're going to start to walk our hands forwards, coming into our puppy pose, chest coming towards the floor, either taking forehead down or chin down, completely up to you. And just starting to breathe here, seeing if you can keep lowering your chest towards the ground, trying to keep hips directly over knees. If you feel like you're sliding forwards, maybe scooch back. Keep melting that heart space down. And then as you inhale, looking forward slightly, lifting your elbows up, we're going to thread our right arm through the gap in the left side, coming into that threaded needle. If you feel stable here, you can reach your left arm up towards the sky, twist it open. Every time you're breathing out, just thinking about twisting the chest space open towards the sky. Now, either staying here or for an option of a little bit something more, you're going to see if you can lean weight onto your right side and step the left leg back behind you. From here, maybe seeing if you can lift your left toes away from the floor tiny lift not too high I nearly just rolled over if you rolled over that's fine just come back to it core nice and tight hip low and then gently taking toes back down to the floor left hand to the floor this time by your face so if it's out in front of you, you can always drag it back and then we're going to twist our right arm open to the sky as you exhale right hand down to the floor squeezing the right knee in towards the chest try and keep your hips nice and low so it's almost like a plank but a one leg plank so we're squeezing our right knee into our chest either holding here or if you want to make it harder you can try and tap your toes to your wrist and back in two more tap and in tap and in last one tap and in Kicking your right leg up towards the sky, three-legged down dog. And then looking forwards, we're going to take a big step between the hands and drop the back knee down. Oh, what just happened? I don't know. As we inhale, low lunge, sweep up. Good. Holding here, finding that stable position. And then from here, we're going to wrap our right arm underneath the left coming back into your eagle arms so either grabbing opposite shoulders backs of the hands or palms together just making sure it's the right arm that's underneath as you breathe in starting to back bend lift your elbows up reach your arms to the sky and as you breathe out elbows into belly chin to chest arching through the spine feeling that left hip stretching open 
As you inhale, reach up. And as you breathe out, elbows into belly. Oh, it's hard to stay stable. Stay with me. Inhale, up. Exhale, elbows in. Amazing. As you inhale, hands coming out in front of your face. We're going to tuck the back toes under. Lift the back knee. Amazing. Staying here, find your stability. And then from here, we're doing a big step up. So try to find a spot in front of you that's still. Left knee's coming into your chest, one-legged standing. Big step up, knee into chest. And then as you exhale, coming into your eagle. So left thigh on top of the right thigh, sitting back into it. If you can, maybe wrapping your toes around your calf, holding here. Two more breaths, you've got it. One more. As you inhale, reaching arms up overhead, left knee into chest. As we breathe out, arms by your sides, left leg kicks back, warrior three. And then landing in your crescent lunge, we take a big step back, reach our arms up overhead. Breathing out, warrior two, open up. Front leg should be on fire now. Yes. Breathing in, reach the arms forwards, flip and reverse your warrior. Left hand to the back of your thigh. As you exhale, forearm to thigh, left arm comes up and over. And then as you inhale, arms in a T-shape, hands cartwheeling down to the floor. Step your right foot back into plank. Holding here, breathe in. As you breathe out, knees lower, lower all the way down, belly and chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Woo, what a sequence. I knew it was going to be fun. <laughs> fun in my head. Starting to pedal out if you need to. Keeping hips nice and high. Amazing. And then bending into knees, dropping them down to the floor. Untucking toes, we'll press back into our child's pose. Hips lower, forehead lowered. And just taking a couple of moments here to reset before we find the other side. Trying to find your breath again. When you're ready, slowly starting to rise up, coming onto hands and knees into tabletop, and we're going to the other side. So walking hands forwards into your puppy pose, chest coming towards the floor, chin down or head down. Three breaths here. Every time you're breathing out, thinking about melting that chest space a little bit closer to the floor, And then slowly looking up, lifting elbows. We're going to slide the left hand through the gap on the right side, coming into your threaded needle. Now, either staying here with your hand on the floor, or if you want to, reaching that right arm up towards the sky, twisting your chest open. And every time we breathe out, we see if we can get a little bit more twist through the spine, not just pulling the arm back, Really trying to move through that chest space. And then if you feel like you can, leaning weight onto the left knee, stepping the right foot back. Holding here, or maybe seeing if you can lift into the right foot, pointing toes, keeping the core nice and strong. If you roll, that's okay. It's actually called rolling panda. You probably can understand why. And then taking toes back down to the floor. Right hand either sliding back or coming towards your face. 
we're gonna press and unravel to the sky, twist open. As you exhale, left hand comes down to the floor. I'm just gonna scooch forward so I'm actually on my mat. And then from here, left knee lifts into chest, nice strong core, either holding here for three breaths or we do three toe taps. So we go left toes to wrist and in, wrist and in, one more, wrist and in, and then kicking that left leg up to the sky, three like a down dog. Looking forwards, take a big step between your hands, drop the back knee down. As you inhale, sweep up, low lunge, finding that nice strong position to move in. Then from here we go eagle arms, but this time left arm under right arm, wrap palms together or maybe just grabbing opposite elbows. And then from here as you inhale, reach up, little back bend. And as you exhale, elbows coming in towards your belly. Don't worry if you're falling, you can always come back into it, it's not easy. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, elbows coming in. Nice, one more, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, elbows into belly, control it. And then as we inhale, arms coming out in front of us, we're gonna tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, find a really strong position before you move. Try to look past your hands, otherwise it's gonna be really hard to balance. And then we're coming into one-legged standing. So right knee lifts in towards your chest, squeezing up. And then as you exhale, coming into our eagle. So our right thigh comes over the top of the left, and if you can, wrapping your toes around your calf. Sitting into it. One more breath. And then from here, we're releasing arms up overhead. Oh, right knee into chest. As you exhale, warrior two, kick back. Fly your arms. Keep that right hip low. And then starting to bend our front leg, landing in our high lunge, crescent lunge. And as you exhale, coming into warrior two, flattening that back foot, arms in a T-shape. As you breathe in, reaching arms forwards, flip your front palm, right hand sliding down your thigh, left arm reaching up and over. As we exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm comes up over the side of our head. As we inhale, warrior two, hands cartwheel down, frame your front foot, stepping our left foot back plank, hold here nice and strong. As you exhale, knees down, lower down, belly and chest. Inhale, cobra. As you exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog, holding for three breaths. Either staying like this, maybe taking a few pedals, any movements you wanna take today. And then when you're ready, gently dropping knees down to the floor, Untucking your toes, hips press back to your heels, child's pose. Taking a moment to reset again. Breathing deeply into your belly space, into your chest. And then when you're ready, we're slowly gonna rise up. Scooch our feet out to the side, sitting down onto our bum, feet out in front of us. Extending our right leg out long, and we're gonna take our left foot inside the inner thigh. As we breathe in, reach up overhead. Breathing out, folding forwards. Either grabbing your foot with your hand, or if you prefer, hands can stay by your sides. As we inhale, trying to lengthen the spine, 
And as you breathe out, take it a little bit deeper. Breathing in, exhale to fold. Amazing. And then leading with your left hand, taking your left hand behind the left hip, right arm reaching up overhead. We're squeezing hips up towards the sky, almost like a wild thing, but a little bit supported. Trying to elongate through the whole front side of the body. As you exhale, we're sitting back down into that fold, reaching both hands back forwards. Nice. Inhale, rising up, taking your left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor, hands under the knees, coming into your boat pose. Toes lift, hands flying by your sides. Breathe in and out. Two more breaths, holding nice and strong. Amazing, and then coming to the other side. So left leg straight, right foot inside your inner thigh, reach up overhead, and as you exhale, folding forwards, grabbing hold of that front foot, breathing in. Exhale, take it a little bit deeper if you'd like to, trying to keep a nice flat back. Two more breaths here. And then slowly rising up, right hand comes behind the right hip, left hand guides you up, squeezing hips up towards the sky, lift those hips up, pressing the floor away with your right hand, nice and strong. And then as we exhale, sitting our bum back towards the floor, reaching back towards that front foot. Amazing. Rising back up. Left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor. This time trying to find your boat without your hands. So toes just lifting, nice and strong. Two more breaths, we've got it. We need this fire. A little bit of fire in our belly to start the week off. Well, take us into Christmas at least. And then taking toes to the floor, slowly rolling all the way down onto your back. Reaching arms up overhead, let the whole body get long. And then squeezing knees in towards your chest. Maybe taking a little rock from side to side. And then finishing with a nice gentle twist. Arms can come into a T-shape, knees falling to the left. Keeping your right shoulder nice and flat. And just breathing here. Coming back to that calmness, back to that feeling of just reset, relax. As you inhale back to center, exhale over to the right hand side, left shoulder trying to flatten. Maybe you wanna look over your left shoulder to finish the twist. And then as we inhale, knees coming in towards our chest. Maybe give them a little squeeze in before finding your Shavasana, putting on any extra layers you want to put on. Hands by your sides, legs out long in front of you. And just taking time to find that stillness again. And as the body starts to find calmness, stillness, seeing what the mind's starting to do now. Is it trying to talk to you, distract you from your purpose? Maybe just scooching shoulders slightly away from your ears. Letting feet really fall out. Noticing any 
feeling sensation through the toes or the palms, feeling that energy in the hands. And then when you're ready, starting to wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, take a nice big stretch up overhead, get really nice and long. And then gently rolling onto one side, pausing there for a second in this sleeping type position. And then using your hands to help you up, keeping eyes closed if you can, finding a comfortable seated position. We'll reach our arms up overhead, connect our palms together to touch. And as we exhale, bringing palms into heart center, pressing thumbs into that heart space. And take a moment to really thank yourself for stepping on the mat and moving today. As I said, I know if you're in a place where you can't spend your Christmas with your family, or you're feeling a little bit down, or your resilience has started to just wear away. I feel you, but well done for really coming on the mat and practicing flowing it out today. You should be really proud of yourself. And then I just want you to come back to that one thing you felt grateful for. Feel it in your heart, feel it in your chest. What does it feel like to feel grateful for that thing? And just that reminder for you, seeing if over the next few days you can focus on what you do have, what you're grateful for, rather than what it is that you don't have or what's been taken from you. Always try to follow by this phrase, which is, if you want what you have, You'll always have what you want. And on that note, gently bowing your head, bowing your chest. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to practice with me today. I know maybe it was a little bit tougher to get out onto the mat, roll out the mat and have a little practice. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely Christmas, a lovely new year. And I will see you back here in 2021. Hopefully it's going to be better than 2020. And I'm wishing you all a healthy and happy Christmas and new year. Mwah.